They're here at Bryden Farm, and at the head of the tide, or near the head of the tide, uh, overlooking the West Branch, Bear River, Nova Scotia. Uh, you can find us at brydenfarm.com. And uh, we're going to do a little episode of what we like to call Chicken TV. So let's go for a little walk. Had about a foot of snow here. Uh, two days ago, the ground was bare, and then they forecast some flurries, and we ended up with at least a foot of light, fluffy snow. As you can see, at this point, it's kind of gone down a bit, but uh, I'm not sure how well the uh, internet signal is going to hold up here. But uh, that's our chicken coop. In the buck pen. Uh, not only do we have a mixed flock of chickens, we also have a small herd of Nigerian dwarf goats. We have two bucks. Uh, they're great, friendly, uh, do their jobs well, providing stud service for those who need it. Uh, here's one that's actually, I think, going to look out the window. If you can see him in there. And that is either Archie or Carl and his twin brother. Archie or Carl, <laughs> only know how to get up closer here, is uh, right here. So it was Archie inside, and this is Carl, beautiful boy, very friendly goats. The, uh, um, they do, uh, this time of year in rut, their horns get banged up a little bit, but uh, they get along quite well for uh, basically, what are you guys, 11 months now? Oh yeah. I, <laughs> You see, he likes to likes to butt heads a little bit, but they're really friendly. They're good boys. They're good boys. Coming over on this side, Archie. Come over and say hello. There you are. So we said it was going to be chicken TV, but sometimes the, the goats like to steal the show. So this is Archie, and this is Carl, and if you happen to have a doe that's looking for a boyfriend. Uh, you can reach us, uh, find us online at brydenfarm.com. Um, these boys are more than ready and capable of doing their job. Aren't you? Huh? You good boys, huh? Okay, let's go in and have a look at the chickens. We uh, need to get some fresh hay down. This time of year with the snow and everything, they stay inside. It's kind of a little dark in here for the camera too, but we have some beautiful girls and boys. There goes Red, the rooster, the Easter Egger. Um, here comes Buddy. This is our big boy, Buddy. Good boy, Buddy. Huh? You're a good boy, aren't you? Huh? This is one of our new little almonds. Him. A uh, year old. Little egg machines. They like picking the snow off the boots. The, uh, you got water in your dish. That's good. Yeah, that's a little almond. There's one of our Buff Warpingtons. Here's some of what we call our DB Deeps. Um, Jack, I'll say the DB Deep Rooster. His father was a white Orpington, and their mothers, now not the one in the middle, but the white ones, and Jack, their mother were brown layers. That's where Jack gets his coloring from. And it's funny because all the others took their white Orpington father's colors for the most part. Um, we only had the three hens and Jack left from that group now. We pretty much hand raised them, um, and uh, eh, they're still pretty tame. Yeah, don't particularly like to be handled, but they're they're pretty calm, aren't you? Huh? Even even my boy Jack is is pretty calm, aren't you, Jack? Huh? Good boy. Yeah, good boy, Jack. Good boy. The uh, and that's his mother hen. She, uh, in September, she gave birth to Chicky and Picky, who is hiding in the nest box. We, uh, better get in here with some fresh hay, do a bit of a clean-up. Oh, look at that, we found an egg. Was that you, huh? Was that you that laid the egg? Hmm, <laughs> possibly, possibly. Not sure. The little almonds actually lay the biggest eggs, so I'm not sure if that's one of theirs or not. The uh, the biddies have 
started laying eggs. Um, actually, I don't see the biddies in here, so I'm thinking they might be out in the carport. They actually like laying their eggs, as well as these sasos, or we call them bare leg brahmas. Um, nobody really knows for sure what's in a sasso, because sasso is an acronym for a company name in, out of France originally. Um, that one was standing on the edge there, that's Cocotte. She was the first one to lay eggs. She's a very good hen. And uh, this one, you see her comb, she has a little W in it. She's a Wanda. And these two, I think that's Princess there. Oh, I think that's one of the, there's one of the little biddies I was telling you about. Oh no, that's Mother Hen. You can see how her breast feathers almost form a V. She has a real pointed uh, breast on her. Anyway, we do need to get in here and put down some new bedding. We uh, we do a composted uh, floor. We usually have it uh, cleaner than this. I apologize for that, but you know what? The, the hens really don't mind, but it looks a little nicer when we keep the fresh hay on it and, and in the nest. And chicken piggy, you like sleeping in the nest. You like sleeping in the nest. But that doesn't help keep them very clean. And you're not quite old enough to lay yet. So why don't you get out of there for a while and let the layers get in the nest. <laughs> anyway. The, uh, there's, there's the little crow, we call her. The little Easter egg or hen. And she pairs up well with uh, Red. I showed you him a few minutes ago. There he is. The uh, Easter egg or rooster. If anybody's looking to start a flock... Uh, or expand their flock of Easter Eggers, Red, and his little hen there, they're available. Um, the uh, like to have a good home for him. We ask $20 or, or best offer. Um, but uh, BridenFarm.com, you can find us. And uh, if you'd like uh, Easter Egg or Rooster and Hen, she's not quite laying yet. They're the young, young pullet. He's started to crow. Um, and Buddy, he's our big boy. We're not, we're not getting rid of Buddy, are we? Huh? You good boy, Buddy. You good boy. I think he probably is part barn builder. We were told he's an Easter Egger, but uh, his markings are definitely those of a barn builder. But he has booted, feathered, feathered boots for legs. Anyway, so we're gonna start and go back this way. There's Kokai and Wanda, I believe. Oh, uh, Wanda? Yeah. Are you princess and the other one's Wanda? They're hard to tell. We, we actually kind of named them by their, uh, by their, uh, comb. <laughs> so, let's take a peek over the, I say over the cliff here. Uh, I say we overlook the head of the tide. Bear River is a tidal river. But the other thing that we overlook right here, this is the west branch of Bear River, which flows down into um, Bear River, the main river, at the head of the tide, which is just out of sight. Um, and pulling into the other end of our property, through the other end of our property, is Franklin Brook, which flows into the west branch, which flows into the main Bear River which flows out into the Annapolis Basin to be got in Bay of Fundy. The, uh, there's a nice shot of the place. And I'm just going to take a little walk here. Sorry if it's distracted there for a minute, folks. Some of the wood that we've been bringing out is uh, now kind of covered in snow. The, uh, but, yeah, we'll go around this way. We need to go the other way. Actually, I have a, an old fridge here that we want to turn into a smoker this, this spring or summer. And we're coming up around the edge here. And we are going to have a peek in the carport. I'm going to undo the zipper. 
for the shot. There we go. You can video everything you saw. It's all raw, so you kind of take it as it comes, people. Uh, still got the egg in my hand. And we're going to have a peek up here because, as I say, there's two or three of the sasos or brahmas or whatever you want to call them that love to lay their eggs up in these boxes, especially this one. But nothing in here yet. A little chilly here this morning and uh, they haven't ventured a whole long ways away from the coop, which is good because maybe a few more of them will lay their eggs in there, which is what we'd really like to see. So anyway, you can keep up with all our antics uh, here at Bryden Farm and BrydenFarm.com. We'll put this back up again. And we're going to call it a day. Have a wonderful one. And uh, ciao for now.